Hey everyone, this is um, the first of a, a few simple little tricks that I'd like to um, upload. And this one is on the background of a website. Um, if you choose to put an image like I have here, uh, this is my uncle uh, who served in World War II. Um, and there is his um, emblem, his badge. It was, he was a tech sergeant uh, during the uh, latter part of 1944-45. Uh, now notice when I scroll up and down that the background and the body with the text, the header, and the side panels move together. And that, that's good. Um, that's what you want. But a lot of people would like something like this, which uh, notice the background doesn't move and the text moves. And that, that is totally cool, I think. Um, and you, know, you, you can have your background image. I, I faded mine a little bit there. Some people want it, would want it brighter. Some people would want it um, uh, more faded than this. Um, uh, I faded it a little bit so that the main emphasis is on on the text, but that the background is is kind of matches the text. Anyway, it's it's really easy to do this. Uh, um, this is done in CSS. You can do it, and this is um, I don't need this. Uh, okay, what I have here is a CSS statement. Um, if you aren't familiar with CSS and you're working with HTML, CSS is really is easy. Do not fret it. Um, you can learn the basics of CSS in a day, in an afternoon. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is the background here image is Sergeant Tech 4 EJT. Um, to JPEG. Okay, it's one I made up in Fireworks with um, Dreamweaver's um, Photoshop uh, editor. Okay, drop it down a line and add the statement. Background attachment fixed. That's all you got to do. And that is what I did on, on here. The background is fixed, but the, the body of the text isn't. And notice on another site that I've worked down with a little more color on it and then I've used this. Um, and, and the nice thing about this is that the background image of the site can change and I don't know why this is happening each time but we're gonna get rid of it again. Anyway that, that that's about all there is to it. A um, uh, one-liner right here just add background attachment fix to your CSS file whether it's in a separate file or on the uh, on the web page itself that is all thank you